guys! Hello! Good day mga kabeshi! Mga kabanga! Kamusta po kayong lahat dyan? I really hope that you're all doing well and welcome back to my YouTube channel! So for today's vlog, I'm gonna share with you my 5 key points on how to surely pass your OET listening. Are you excited? Let's do this! But before that, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more related videos. All right? First, let's have a recap about OET listening. This comes with three parts. Part A is from 1 to 24 questions. Part B is from 25 to 30 questions. And last but not the least is Part C. This is from 31 to 42 questions. And these three parts should be answered in 40 minutes in total. Guys, kayang kaya niyan. Siyempre kung kinaya ko, mas kaya niyo. Oh. First tip, inform the staff about audio problems. Guys, if by any chance you have encountered a problem with your OET listening audio or during the sound check before the exam itself, you should inform straight away the staff. Meaning, speak up if you can't really hear at all. Guys, never waste your time and don't try to do things on your own. Napakamahal po ng OET na exam na ito. And guys, wag na kayong mahiya kung hindi nyo talaga marinig. Lalong lalo na dun sa mga uupo dun sa pinakadulo ng room. Okies? Second tip, focus on time management. Now, earlier today, I have mentioned that listening comes in three parts. And before you proceed with each part, you will be provided enough time to read the questions before the listening audio will start. And guys, this is when you can utilize your time in the best way. Meaning, concentrate on the questions that you are going to answer. Minsan, obvious naman kung tao yung hinihingi, time, place, event, or minsan kung disease pa nga, or minsan signs or symptoms. Talagang makikita mo kung ano yung hinahanap dun sa mismong test. Bongga! Third tip. Practice attentive listening. Guys, the main key to success in OET listening is mastering the art of listening with concentration. It simply means to listen to every detail properly. And also try to give your heart and mind to the audience. During my OET listening test, I actually remember na nag-focus ako dun sa mga keywords na nasa questions. And also, guys, pwede rin kayong mag-focus dun sa synonyms, antonyms, and other phrases na nandun sa sentences sa listening test. Okies? Fourth tip, don't get stuck on the tricky questions. Guys, if you do not know the answer, kindly leave it and move on to the next number. Guys, never waste your time. And especially, pagrelasyon niyan, kung wala nang mga sagot sa mga tanong mo, iwan mo na siya, guys. Mag-move on na kayo. 2021 na, sobrang daming bangus at isda sa dagat, di ba? <laughs> Kidding aside, before submission, you can come back to that question again and make an attempt to answer it. Guys, wala namang masama dun, especially kung common naman yung sagot na hinahanap, di ba? And how to overcome these tricky questions. Guys, it's very important to remind yourself that there are generally one or two sentences between the gaps of each listening test. Okies? Nevertheless, the best approach is to write faster and clearly know the location of the next few gaps. To be prepared to answer back-to-back -back questions. Guys, always remember, practice is the key here. Alright? And for our last but not the least tip, fifth one, don't exceed the given word limit. Also, there are questions that require you to answer the questions in a limited number of words. And guys, 
try to make sure that you do not exceed the word limit for those kinds of questions. Okay? Yun lamang po! But before we end, let's have a recap first about the five key points for OET listening. First, inform the staff about audio problems. Second, focus on time management. Third, practice attentive listening. Fourth, don't get stuck on tricky questions. And last but not the least, don't exceed the given word limit. Yun lamang po. I really hope na makatulog po itong five tips that I've shared with you to ace your OET listening. Guys, practice is the key here every day. Naalala ko nung nag-aaral pa ako for OET listening, talagang kahit pa uwi ako ng bahay, kahit papunta ako ng work, talagang nakikinig din ako ng mga podcast online, even yung mga subtitles dun sa Netflix na pinapanood ko na related sa medical field, talagang naka-turn on yung subtitles para syempre familiarize din ako sa spelling. And guys, importante talaga to practice, practice, practice every day. Isipin nyo na lang yung goals nyo sa buhay. Always keep your eyes on the prize. Aww. Yun lamang po! Thank you guys and have a great day! God bless you all!